welcome. So this week we're looking at the law of correspondence. Um, let's just do a quick recap. We started off with the law of divine oneness, which is that everything is connected permanently and interconnected. Lesson two or law number two was the law of vibration that connected and interconnected energies in constant vibration. And then we looked at the law of action. So when you're in that high vibrational frequency, you get the urge to take action, just do it. And now law of correspondence. So we're feeling good, high vibrational frequency. We're taking action and that's where we wanna be. However, the law of correspondence, um, another way of thinking of it is as within, so without. So people have this idea, some people have the idea that what's happening in the external world causes them to feel a particular way. But according to the law of correspondence, the reverse is true. So what you think about how you feel inside your thoughts create your reality. If you have certain beliefs about particular things that creates the experience that you have in the external world about that particular thing. If we look at relationships, for example, now, a lot of us are in rubbish relationships and we think, you know, we're in a rubbish relationship because we're with a rubbish person. According to the law of correspondence, we are in a rubbish relationship because of the way we think about relationships in general, because of our beliefs about it, because of our focus in a particular relationship. So you would find that people in rubbish relationship tend to constantly be complaining about that relationship to you. It's like, oh my gosh. You know, that, that man that I married, he's just so lazy, he's this, he's that, he's the other, and so forth. Shut up, shut up, shut up, and shut up, okay? You very rarely ever hear them saying anything good about the particular relationship that they're in. Have you noticed that? All you do is just bitch about your relationships all day long. So, the law of correspondence just reminds you that what you think creates what you experience. And I would love for people to experiment with that you know think about the areas of your life that's not going the way you would like it to go and experiment with it look at what you believe about that particular area of your life if it's relationships what are your beliefs about relationships what has been your experience in the past in relationships you know are you are you walking around with a broken heart you feel negative about relationships in general are you vibrationally aligned with what you think a perfect relationship is? Or are you all the way down there in a not so perfect relationship? That's the challenge for this week. Look at what you're thinking inside and compare it to what your experience is on the outside. Do it in the reverse. Look at areas that things are going amazing in and what are your beliefs about those areas of your life? Do you have positive optimistic uh, beliefs about that particular area in your life? And so, do you have that experience externally? Play with that a bit. I promise you, you would be surprised. So next week, we'll be talking about the law of cause and effect. That is pretty interesting. Definitely something to look forward to. I would recommend that you go back and look at the videos about the other laws. So it sort of ties everything together because all the laws are connected very much as the first one. I and mean, it, it may seem repetitive, but it's just very, very subtle differences. And also it's a way of helping you to remember what each law teaches and then put it into action in your own life. As always, love always.